Sebastian. That's Sebastian. You've just done your distribution lab, uh, innovation lab for distribution. Um, what would you like uh, to tell us a little bit about that? How was it and what would you like your audience to take away from, from your session? Well, it's the first time that Hedna does this lab setting. Uh, we've invited about 16 people uh, to sit down to talk to us about their pain points. What are the things that needs fixing in this industry? Uh, what are the things that slow them down? What are the things that um, are, in, if you will, inconvenient truths that people don't spend enough time talking about uh, that we really need to service as an organization and create awareness around. Um, so it was interesting. We had about an hour and a half together, um, different groups from different people, uh, members uh, as well as uh, both principals and allied members. And it started slow because there's always sort of that question around trust. Do I know the person? Will I actually open up? But within about 20 minutes, the conversation just was flying, and we could have probably met for, what, three hours? Quite a while. But your group had, had the discussion a little bit slower. Mine was, wham, they were just sharing ideas left the and moderator. right. <laughs> and what were some of the key points that you, you covered? I think it was across the entire guest experience and, the, uh, and across all dimensions of selling and distributing hotel rooms. It started from, like, um, I don't know, engagement with guests, it's marketing to payments, to everything that really is touching, I guess, our industry, about surfacing hotel supply to our customers mm -hmm. and making sure that they can pay, making sure that uh, the content is accurate. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were, it was com completely comprehensive. Mm -hmm. But what it also did, and that was sort of the stark contrast that we came out with, there is an industry that has made leaps and bounds in e-commerce, and it's not hospitality, no. right? Like if you look at, I don't know, Uber was the example that we used. You can sign up, you can download your live in five minutes. Are you today live in five minutes on an OTA channel? Have you created a rate plan in five minutes and it's live and can be sold? Not yet. It's coming, I'm it's sure. It's coming, right? <laughs> but it's things like that that other areas of the industry of our, I guess, of the world have advanced, have moved up, have innovated, and we haven't for whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, the challenges are more than just the legacy systems. We've, we're seeing that there's changing in organizations, distribution is moving into revenue management, but then there's content. Content doesn't belong mm -hmm. to anyone. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. And the challenges with channel-centric content to customer-centric content is really something that we've really not mastered mm. overall. Mm. And that's perhaps the most critical point to master. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What well, was also interesting, a topic that came up was you know, vacation rentals going into hotels and hotels going into vacation rentals and how is that going to work? What are the standards in order to make sure that they both have equal opportunity to be serviced so that as a consumer I have the choice between both but I also have the transparency to understand if I buy a hotel room this is $200 and at vacation rentals this is $200 plus a cleaning fee plus a checkout fee etc. So how do I create a business environment in which this is transparent and clear for everyone involved. So just briefly, as we were coming up here, you mentioned some, something about how the conversation or your impressions of the conversation led you to think about how hotels are still struggling with legacy technology and old technology. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on that for us? Well, sure. So the examples that came out of that distribution lab was, you know, we're struggling with rate plans, with loading of content, etc. While we want to become like Ubers, like, you know, new technology and, and e-commerce, which has a lot to do with full automation click-through, um, simplification of processes where transactions are instantaneous, right? There is no more a asynchronous onboarding flow, a publication of content. Everything is in real time. And when you take a step back and, and see hoteliers struggling with their technology, realizing that I'm doing workflows that were optimized for distribution 30, 40 years ago, they're not current, they're not up to date to how a consumer is today transacting with products, whether it's on Amazon or Walmart, whether it's on your iPhone, etc. And one of the greatest examples that came out of our discussion was, um, hey, I can sign up on Uber in five seconds, in 10 seconds, I can get a Stripe account in 15 seconds. How long does it take me to add a rate plan into a GDS? How many days are involved? What's the workflow? Um, same with signing up for an OTA. Some of these processes are just 
really labor intensive and are not current and relevant in a way because they're not how people do transaction an anymore. So if you think about how this uh, continues where this is going, we need to completely take a step back and rethink how all of these things are engineered. Hoteliers want to sell more of their services, but they're still struggling with the basics. They're still struggling with getting a rate out, yet they want to do early check-in, late check-out, and <laughs> the basics are not automated, are not simplified. So I fear that we, we need to make leaps, uh, we need to sunset old technology, we need to replace it with something that is current, that is relevant, and that can do the transactions and can process and, and create these guest experiences that our customers are looking for. Hmm. Yeah. Moving beyond an amalgamation of point solutions. Yeah. Hmm. And in your opinion, how, who do you think in our space today would be a, a potential leader in that change, in that um, transition, if you like? Because it has to come from somewhere. It, it either comes from the hotel side, demanding that they have systems that are uh, in freeing them up so that they can load on OTAs or load rates and GDSs in a matter of minutes? Or does it come from the technology provider taking the initiative? There's a lot of new technology startups out there today that, that are trying to break new ground. So where's the balance and who do you think should take the lead on this? I'm inspired what I see happening at, at Cloudbeds. We're catering to you know um, younger generation of hoteliers and younger generation of travelers. And they embrace technology, they embrace connectivity, they embrace tools and services and solutions. Uh, and uh, these customers, they are looking for instant access to booking engines, to content, and everything in real time. Um, so I do feel that this new generation of travelers that is has grown up with Booking.com, Expedia, Airbnb on the palm of their hand is actually driving that change, that driving that change that this is becoming the expectations. And if you look at what's happening even in, in corporate travel where you know companies are adopting alternative uh, booking engines to become part of their corporate programs, you see that there is a a trend that is going across generation. It's not only you know the millennials, it's not only the generation Z of travelers that are using this technology, but also our corporate traveler that is looking for an alternative to hotel accommodation. And, and lines are blurring, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I do feel that that new generation of connected traveler is driving that change and is it driving that expectation. And that they're driving the, the hotel operator Absolutely. and owner to, 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 to basically deliver this type of service. Absolutely. So um, from a hotelier's perspective, how could they best achieve that, in your opinion? And what do you think? Well, in our innovation lab started to unsurface these issues and really have some meaningful conversation about it. But it's going to take more than a tech provider and a hotelier mm -hmm. to solve this. It's going to take a a community of individuals coming together and aligning around these challenges to address them. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. All the best. All right. Take care. <laughs>